You ever roll the volume back on your guitar and find you're losing your tone as fast as your volume? Well, you can add a treble bleed. This little modification costs between three and $10 depending on the parts you use, and it can significantly improve the way your volume works on your guitar. But more importantly, you can modify it with alligator clips to clip them in and see if you like the way it sounds. Today, I'm gonna show you how it works on this guitar using different pickups and tones to see is it the right one for your pickups or for you. What it does is it lets the highs not get choked off so soon. A treble bleed is when you take a 150 ohm quarter watt resistor and wire it in parallel to a 0.001 capacitor and then connect the leads to the input and output lugs of your guitar's volume control. I put a link down below. You can get one completed and done by Stu Mac. Also, I put the specifications in parts in case you wanna make your own. I've actually modified this guitar permanently, but what I did when I installed it is I created a bypass switch and it's right here on the tone control. Now you can put it on your volume control. I wanted it out of the way. Please understand is that it's not connected to my tone control in any way. It is only connected to the volume. I'm just using this as like a secret switch because my other switch right here is connected to my coil split. Now, before we get started, something interesting is, is that the treble bleed has no effect on your sound if your volume is on 10. To illustrate that, I'm going to strum a chord and toggle between the bypass of the treble bleed and see how it sounds with it on and off. Go halfway back and watch the difference now. So let's start with the bridge on the Telecaster pickup. I'm going to show you why you may want this. Here is the volume full forward. Okay, let's turn that volume knob about, not quite halfway, about 40% back. So let's go ahead and go to the neck pickup. Now we have the neck pickup. This is full humbucker mode. Okay, so let's do the same thing. I'm gonna bypass the treble bleed. Let's go ahead and roll it back a quarter turn. Now this is a real common thing you would do with a humbucker guitar, especially in the neck position. You're playing clean, you're strumming chords, maybe behind the band, and you're kind of pushing or dominating with a lot of low end. So you'll roll your, your, uh, your volume knob back a quarter turn. and I'm quarter turn back right now, what happens when I engage the treble bleed? Now you could see it's like removing a pillow from the speaker by uh, putting the treble bleed in, in place. And some players may like that, and some players might not. You might want to darken it up. Let's go ahead and go to the single coil. And that's where I really think it comes uh, to life. So let's go ahead, I have it bypassed right now. Here is the uh, Pete Thorne humbucker in single coil mode. So let's go ahead and here's humbucker. That's a single coil, here we go. A back quarter turn, and here's what happens. And again, you find all your snaps are back. And you feel like, I feel like everything is articulated. So here you go, here's the chord. Bypass that trouble lead. In some cases, you might think it's boosting the signal. Please understand that this is a passive system, which means it cannot boost. It can only subtract. Everything is a subtractive. So the treble bleed is not subtracting anything. What's happening is the high frequencies are being um, not removed, but uh, un unable to pass through. And that's why sometimes this is called a high pass modification because it's letting the highs pass through. Let's go ahead and go to some dirty sounds. I'm overdrive. Here we go. We have. We're gonna go to the drive channel on the amp. And what I wanna do is swap the uh, Telecaster pickup for a humbucker pickup. Here's a humbucker in the bridge. 
and again, I'm going to show you what's going to happen with the uh, the tone difference uh, with the Trouble Bleed bypass. <laughs> So in this case, there's one thing I like about not having the treble bleed is I feel like when you back off a really high output humbucker, I feel like the notes, as the uh, highs get taken away, the notes get a little plumpier. Without the treble bleed. So you can see where if you didn't have a uh, treble bleed on the circuit, uh, it would be great because it would clean up a lot easier on a high output pickup. Let's go ahead and try single coils. Now what I have next for you is a set of Fender single coil pickups. Nothing spectacular. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the treble bleed. This would be like stock. So if you have a Stratocaster at home and you're wondering how this will affect your Stratocaster, here's how it would work. Here's your volume full forward. Run that a quarter turn back. With the treble bleed engaged. still lose a lot of volume and that's what's nice about the treble bleed is with it engaged you roll a quarter turn back and you kind of get that cleanup on the on the higher gain so here's your neck pickup full gain quarter turn back with the out the treble bleed Now, one last thing, because I want to show you uh, pretty much everything that we can show you with this. I'm going to show you an active pickup. So here we have an EMG 81. And uh, so if you have active pickups, do you still use a treble bleed? Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put a bridge pickup on. The great thing about this is this is something that's very inexpensive that you can try. A lot of people have uh, put these in guitars. Some guitars come standard with it. A lot of Ibanez's and Paul Reed Smith guitars come with a, uh, a modification just like this. Um, so it's something you can definitely try. It's a really cool, easy thing to do. But more importantly, if you want to put it in a system like I have where you can bypass it, it's really a nice option that you don't have to worry about losing anything from your original way your guitar is wired, especially in a Stratocaster, which is really cool. All you have to do is hook it to a push pull or a uh, little mini switch and uh, you can bypass this pretty easily. It's a very easy uh, soldering job to do. This is probably one of the easiest things to do to a modification of a guitar. And you can see it makes a pretty good difference in what you're trying to do. And what's great about this, and, and I've experimented this with about 30 different pickups so far in this guitar, and here's what I learned. The lower output your pickup, single coils, Telecasters, um, pickups, and some of the really low output humbuckers, this really improves the sound, definitely when you're rolling back the uh, volume control. On the higher output pickups, the more aggressive, not only the actives, but the more aggressive high output pickups, what I noticed is, is that this actually has sometimes a, a, a different effect that, that you would probably want, where instead of letting the amp clean up, it's not letting the amp clean up when you're rolling the volume back. So if you're looking where you want to reduce 
reduce maybe somehow the distortion of the amp, but not necessarily the clean the amp up, this would work on a higher output pickup. But otherwise, I really think this is best suited for low output pickups. But what's great is you can experiment like I did. And what I decided for me was exactly that. For lower output pickups, I like it. For higher output pickups, I don't. So that's why I decided to add this switch to let me bypass it. So I have it, and if I wanna put a higher gain pickup, if I'm rolling back the volume, to do it, what's great, like I said, if it's in your stall your guitar and your volume is not rolled back, then it does nothing. And like I said, it's not connected to anything else in the guitar. So very straightforward, very easy. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you're new. Keep in mind that there are still 47 more of these videos to go. And I would love to hear what kind of pickups, what kind of things you would like to see me do. Because one of the great things about this is every single thing I'm doing is doing with the same guitar and the same basic rig. So that over time, you can hear how this differentiates uh, without the main thing changing, which is the guitar. So as always, thank you so much for your time. And until next time, know your gear.